Before we get started, I want to introduce you to the main supply we'll be using today. Do you know what this is? Do you? This is what is called a cake board. And if you're still confused, don't worry. It's not that deep. It's just a board for cake. You see, every time a cake is born, it almost never goes anywhere without one of these boards following it. Whether you purchase it from the grocery store or from a professional baker, it is always accompanied by one of these boards to cut the cake on. Now, where do you find such a thing? Well, the answer is you go to the party supply section. Not the baking section or the cooking section, but the party supply section. And you will soon realize that there is a variety of sizes, styles, and colors at your disposal. I'm going to be using this 13 by 9 size right here. Now that we have that established, we can begin. I'm going to take my cake board and a very wide ribbon. I'm going to cut three pieces of this wide ribbon and then I'm going to get some double-sided scotch indoor tape and very specifically put this tape in the middle of the ribbon to secure it on the cake board. Remember that I'm putting it in the middle because that's going to come back up later. Now, once I put this ribbon on this board, I need to find a way to make this cake board stand up and I'm going to do that through the means of some plastic picture frames that I found at the dollar store. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them on the back of the cake board so that it will display my bows. I'm going to use my double-sided scotch tape and just tape these plastic frames with that tape on the back of the board. And once I'm done with that, it is ready to be put to use. Really quickly, let's revisit this ribbon and why it is freely open on the sides, top and bottom. Remember, I only put that tape in the middle. And there's always a method behind the madness. I did that so that when we go and take our bow and we want to clip it, like this bow here, we have a clip on the back, we now have space on the top and the bottom to clip bows. I wanted to leave myself plenty of room and the clip is just going to go right there in that open side, just like this. That is how we get all of these bows to rest so nicely on the board on display. Now, what if you don't have a fancy bow with a clip like that? What if you have an old bow? Like, say, this one with just a sticky bottom. Oh, that's easy. You just grab your own clip, girl, and you just clip that bow on the board, either on the top or the bottom of the ribbon. Now, I went through and color-coded my bows so they would be easier to see, and I had enough bows to fill about four boards. And the great thing about this is that you only have to make these boards once and then you just have them forever to reuse again and again. Having these bow boards is so much more convenient than having them in a box that I have to rummage through. I can see all the bows that I have and quickly decide which one will best coincide with the gift that I am using it for. When Christmas is over and I'm ready to recycle my bows again for the following year, they go right back on the board just as easily and quickly as they came off. I also designed these boards to be very functional for long-term storage. When I'm done with them, I will put them all inside of a plastic bin and they will stand upright almost like a filing cabinet, easily accessible anytime I need them or fine to stay in the storage bin until needed again next year. We have organized our wrapping paper and our gift bows, and now we are going to organize our gift tags in part three. No, you're just listening to what I'm saying. No, but the thing is, I know what a cake board is. I, I just don't do. understand why we're using a cake board. It has anything to do with gifts. How does a cake board get me to a gift? I need some cake. Oh. 